Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. I am Jen Kitain. In 2008, my husband received a very clear call from God to become a full-time missionary and a part-time lawyer. In the same year, I was also invited to be a teacher in the school that our community put up. So together with our two daughters, we became a missionary family. And we wanted to be responsible at the same time because we had two children to raise. So we had savings and we had streams of income that we thought would help us in this endeavor. Yet God had other plans. In the very same year, our daughters both had to be hospitalized, not once, but twice. And all the other streams of income that we had slowly were getting depleted or disappeared. And caused me so much anxiety and worry that I found myself ranting to God one day. I was telling him, Lord, Tiba, we were we became missionaries for you. Isn't it that we gave up so much? Where are the blessings? Where is the provision? How come we're getting poorer and our kids might go hungry? I was ranting all day. But sometime in that day, God found a space in my head to speak. When I was quiet for a little bit, God spoke very clearly in my heart. And he said, is this how you really want me to bless you? That question humbled me. And I returned to the Lord with repentance and asked for his forgiveness. I told him, no, Lord, this is not how I want you to bless me. I know that when I, when I was, will be blessed, it is because you love me and not because I feel like I deserve it. And lo and behold, I wasn't blessed. As a matter of fact, in the same year, by the tail end, the biggest blow came when I got sick. I had to be operated on in an emergency surgery to remove my gallbladder. And that operation almost took my life. I stayed the longest in the hospital and, of course, wrapped up the highest bills. And there on the hospital bed, helpless and sick, I lifted up to the Lord all my intentions and said, Lord, your will be done. So many people came to help. So many people gave us the finances we needed in order to help in the hospital bills. When my husband was wheeling me out of the hospital after that stay, he told me, you know what? We don't even have debt in the hospital. All the contributions people gave us paid for everything. That moment, I knew I was blessed. And I knew I was obeying the right God. Truly, my master, the Lord Jesus Christ, is worthy to be obeyed and worthy to be served. I am his unprofitable servant. I have to do what he wants me to do. And everything else that I need, it's all in his hands. It has been 14 years since that time. And yet, I have never once felt abandoned by the Lord. And in all our needs, he has provided for me, for all of us in the family. I now have four kids. And with each child that has come and added to our number, our blessings overflow. The Lord is worthy to be obeyed. I just had to get out of my head and get out of the notion that just because I obey the Lord, I deserve a reward. God deserves all our obedience and the reward. It's really just up to him. I pray, brothers and sisters, that you will be blessed and that you will know that it's not because you deserve it, but because God is good. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.